Okay, so when we talk about compass directions, we're talking about the wind directions uh, north, east, south, and west. And any vector will therefore be placed between starting here, or we'll actually place this compass right where the vector starts. And let's say the vector is, well, let's go that direction. The vector goes in that direction. We measure the length for the uh, magnitude. But now what about the direction? Well, you can see that measuring the bearing would have been from north going all around. This would have been the bearing. Okay, like that. Okay, that's not even close to a circle, but that's the bearing. Okay, uh, but what if we didn't measure it with north? What if we decided to measure it with a different compass direction? For example, west. So that angle. It's the closest. It seems it seems reasonable to assume that, or even with north, but in the anti-clockwise direction. Okay. So what if we said this was beta, or we said that one was alpha, some sort of angle that it is making? Okay. How would we have written that so that we know what we are talking about? Well, one thing that's very important is to notice that I can't just say it makes an angle of beta with west because that angle could have been in this direction okay for example here's another vector that's also making an angle beta with west so that's beta also with west same size okay what is the difference between the two well the one is to the north of west this one and the other one is to the south of west. So this is how we will write this one. We would say, okay, we are measuring from west. So we write W. And then we have angle beta. Okay. And beta is measured to the north. This one, this angle would be written as from west size beta and in the direction south so west is the direction I'm making an angle with beta the angle I'm making with west and the last one in this case south is the direction from west I'm heading so let's look at another at this other one so I'll choose a different color this time Okay, let's say I'm looking at alpha here. Okay, alpha is measured with north. It is the angle that this vector is making with north. So, to write that angle would be north makes an angle of alpha with theta. <laughs> no, alpha with the vector and it is in which direction? Well, if I measure from north, it can either be to the east or it can be to the west. This one is to the west. Okay, so now that I've actually done it with these funky alphas and betas, let me go and actually measure what this one's actual direction is using my protractor. Okay, so it's completely up to you from where you want to measure it. You could measure it from north. So we take our protractor from north. Okay, I'll have to turn my protractor around. Okay, so it's upside down, but you can still see it. So there we put our protractor right on there. We measure the angle that it's making with north. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and uh, so 50, that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. It seems like 57. Okay, let's go with 57. So it's 57 degrees that it's making with north. So since I measured from north, I start with north. Okay. Since it is in the direction 57 degrees, 57 degrees. And then it is going in the direction of west. So 57 degrees west. Cool. Let's try another one. I'm just going to draw a random one right here. Uh, let's make it in green. 
from here to there. Okay, I'm going to draw it long enough so it's easy to read off. So there's my vector and let's say I want to measure it from east. I'm going to measure that angle. Okay, so to measure that angle, I take my protractor, place it at the center, turn it so that zero is on the wind direction that I'm measuring from, this case from east, and then I can now go and measure that angle. I see this angle is, oh wow, that's close to 57 again, let's say this one is 56, okay, that one is 56, so just 56 degrees, so I type in, or you're going to write of course, I measured from east, 57 degrees in the southern direction. Cool, I think that's more than enough examples for you to understand how we represent vectors, uh, their direction at least, using bearing and compass direction. See you in the next video.